Today, in his annual address, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned against foreign intervention in Ukraine, where there is a, a troop buildup reported in parts of Crimea, and hundreds of protesters supporting Alexei Navalny have been arrested. Is there evidence that the White House sees that U.S. sanctions against Russia are working? Well, first, um, our sanctions were put in place, in some, many of them uh, done in coordination with our European partners and allies, because our strong view and the view of the global community is that there should be consequences for actions. We have never expected, nor have we projected, that one set of sanctions or any individual uh, set of sanctions is going to immediately change behavior but it is sending a clear message that behavior is unacceptable and it can't continue. I would also remind you that uh, our consequences, as we've long said, uh, many are seen, sanctions, and some are unseen, and we don't speak about more specifically. Uh, go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, two, two more foreign ones. Um, today, uh, Australia announced it was, uh, the Australian federal government announced it was revoking a deal by one of the states to do a Belt and Road Initiative with uh, China. Mm -hmm. The Chinese are uh, not happy. Um, has the administration, the administration talked specifically with Australia about that deal? And more generally, is the administration talking with its allies and partners around the world about the BRI and generally trying to get, get partners to push back against that? Uh, I, I think the State Department would be the most likely entity within government to give any readout of conversations with the Australians. Uh, obviously, economic partnerships, relationships, uh, how we can work together as a global community uh, and in a coordinated fashion as it relates to China is part of nearly every discussion the President has with a European partner or a country in the region. Specifically, the Belt and Road Initiative, which, which obviously has been painted by some as this kind of, you know, very clever, soft power. Mm -hmm slash loan shark scheme taking over large parts of the world. But what's the US? Well, what about it is your question? Well, I mean, given that Australia today pushed back against this very yeah. specifically, I was just wondering if the US is in like having actual, you know, direct talks with partners about, you know, we've got to do something about this BRI. I can check and see if there's anything more specific. OK. And the other one is um, uh, the uh, president of Belarus. Mm -hmm. and Putin as well today, both are touting this uh, supposed plan by the U.S. to have tried to assassinate Lukashenko of Belarus. I can confirm there's no basis in fact there. Uh, go ahead. I just want to bring it back to policing. Uh, sure. On a call with George Floyd's family and the family's attorney after the verdict yesterday, uh, the, uh, the family's attorney said, quote, hopefully this is the momentum for the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act to get passed and have you sign, the president's response was, you got it, pal, that, and a lot more. Not just that, but a lot more. So in your estimation, is that the president promising to the Floyd family that he will get a policing bill passed? I think he's promising to the Floyd family that he will use the power of his presidency, the bully pulpit, as he intends to do during his joint address next week, uh, the role of senior leaders in his government to help push the George Floyd Police and Justice and Policing Act forward. How 